guys, my name is Dave and I'm a hydroponic farmer. I grow all of my uh, produce in these hydroponic systems that I've built myself. I have this deep water culture system here where these plants are growing on rafts. I also have an NFT channel system that's in the, that's next, in the next greenhouse over. And then beyond that, I have a uh, large greenhouse where I grow hydroponic tomatoes in. And uh, today what I want to talk to you about is um, HydroGuard. So a lot of people ask me, does the HydroGuard work? And is it worth buying? And I would say um, yes. So like two weeks ago, I wouldn't be able to tell you if it worked or not. Uh, but now I can definitely tell you since I have um, all this lettuce that's ready to harvest, I have like a, you know about 100 pounds and a couple hundred green leaf lettuces and red leaf lettuces that are ready to harvest. Um, so what had happened um, is Christmas, around Christmas time, there was a cold snap and got to negative two in here and it killed a bunch of the mature plants or it severely weakened it or caused a lot of root rot. So like that, that uh, pythium that causes the root rot, it, likes to, it thrives in cold, wet environments and uh, hydroponic systems, when they get really cold, it's, it's, perf it's the perfect environment for them. And so um, a lot of my larger plants they ended up getting uh, severely sick. They were all on life support and um, that root rot was thriving underneath there and I, di I didn't even know it. I had no idea. Uh, but one sunny day, the next sunny day that we had, like all of the, all of the mature plants, they all folded up and died. And so, um, over the next few days, we ended up pulling a bunch of them out of there, but it ended up setting off like this chain effect where it ended up causing root rot and all of these plants here and uh, in that system there. And, um, I don't have the cash flow to replace these plants right now. I don't, I didn't have the cash flow to uh, replace my nutrient solution, solution, you know, it's a lot of money to replace the uh, fertilizer in this because it's 5,000 gallons. So um, what I did have was a $40 bottle of uh, HydroGuard, which I had sitting around and it was two months from its expiration date. So I figured, hey, what the heck, I'll throw it in. So I, I tossed it in and uh, um, I put some in here and I also had garden friendly fungicide, which is a high, higher concentrated version of HydroGuard and it's a lot cheaper. So I started adding that uh, a couple tablespoons to the system uh, every every other day and um, the plants just kept growing after that. So like I really thought they were done like every everything here this whole thing was like it was contaminated with with root rot and now the the, um, the root rot's still there it's just not spreading it's not spreading to the new roots it's not, uh, the new roots that are growing are nice and white. And, um, so I, I say definitely, yes, I love, I, I now am a, a believer because you couldn't have a better test of whether it works or not. Like I wish I would have done a video on how awful it was. It was just a sad, devastating day. Uh, cause we pulled out several hundred plants that we had just had to get rid of. And in the winter time, it's, it's really hard to grow plants. So I put a lot of effort, a lot of love into those plants and they were gone. Um, but anyway, let's take a look at some of these roots. So I didn't add any peroxide. I still have, I also have, um, see there's some of the root rot right there. You can see it was on the original roots, but it didn't spread to the new ones. I did do a root inoculant on these guys before I added them. So nice clean roots, but you can see those younger roots, they're a little, they're, they got a little bit left in, uh, a little bit there. But I didn't add any, um, I didn't do any peroxide. I didn't do any sanidate. I didn't change my oxygenation system. Everything is still the same. And see some of the plants that didn't recover from the, from the uh, root rot, the smaller ones. I'm sure that that one's got it on there pretty bad, but it's not spreading. So I'm, I'm happy as a clam. See a little bit there. That one's got some. But these plants are very, very healthy. Uh, you see they're blowing up like that's, that's huge. Some of these plants are just, are just doing amazing. I've got Salanova green butter there, green incise there. Salanova oak leaf, red butters. I've got my favorite, which is mirror, which is green leaf lettuce. And I've got Ruby Sky. I did a video on transplanting that in. But uh, anyway, all this stuff is, is doing good. I mean, it's just, 
it's just incredible how much they bounce back from adding that stuff. Like I'm telling you, all these roots were brown and rotting. And now they're not. Like everything was on life support. They were all dead. I had no hope whatsoever. It was really devastating. Let's look at this one. Beautiful roots. Perfect. So yeah, I would absolutely, I would strongly recommend using HydroGuard in your system, especially in the summertime when your uh, nutrient solution is a little warmer than it would be right now. Right now, this nutrient solution is 60 degrees, 60, 65, which is just, which is perfect. So now I got another problem. I got all this lettuce to harvest and sell, which is a good problem. Uh, we're now ramping up our, uh, our outreach to customers and um, letting them know that we have lettuce available. We have a lot more lettuce available earlier now um, because of this system. This system does, even though it did have some problems, uh, a lot of problems when, uh, with, um, with the root rot and all that stuff when it got cold, this greenhouse actually did hold up a lot better than my NFT system. And I believe it's because there's a lot of, uh, a lot of BTUs, a lot of heat stored in that, in that water. Um, I think that if it would have, if these would have been again in the NFT system, they, they were all would have died. I love this system. It's so, it's like carefree, <laughs> you know, um, as long as you keep the heat above negative two. <laughs> so anyway, I hope you liked that video. Uh, I'm going to be doing videos on my NFT system and the uh, uh, hydroponic tomato system in the future. You know, I'm, I'm really busy, so, but I'm trying to get this stuff out to you guys. Okay. So bear with me. All right. Thanks for watching.